What is the best fresh weapon in Grounded? In today's video, I aim to answer this question. I will first begin with the weapons that were tested and the enemies that I tested them on, and then move on to how the testing works before finally showing the rankings of the weapons from worst to best. This video begins with me collecting all of the tier 3 fresh weapons in the game. I didn't include the fresh staff or any other ranged weapons. A few people did complain about not including the staffs in these videos, so if you want to see a separate video comparing the staffs to these weapons, let me know. The weapons tested in this video were the Club of the Mother Demon, the Antlion Greatsword, the Mint Mace, the Fire Ant Club, the Tick Makawakawiwa, the Scythe of Blossoms, the Toenail Scimitar, the Widow Dagger, the Rusty Spear, the Tiger Mosquito Rapier, the Black Ox Hammer, and the Termite Axe. I upgraded all 12 of these weapons to level 9 fresh, with the obvious exception of the Mint Mace, which I made level 9 mighty. What about the enemies I killed? I gathered a list of all the enemies weak to fresh damage. I removed boss enemies and enemies that don't respawn from the list. I also didn't include passive enemies on the list. Thus, the list of enemies I killed with these weapons goes as follows. Ladybug, B, Rolepole, Moth, Mosquito, Infected Weevil, Infected Might, Infected Ladybug, Infected Lava, Stinkbug, Bombardier Beetle, Fire Ant Worker, Fire Ant Soldier, Dust Mite, Ladybird Lava, Ladybird, Green Shield Bug, Infected Wolf Spider, and finally the Tiger Mosquito. That's right, we have a total of 19 enemies to kill with 12 different weapons. This took me a long time. Now, let's get into the methodology. The method used in this video was identical to the one used in the best salty and the best spicy weapon videos. Firstly, this test was conducted in a world on woe difficulty with stamina drain enabled, meaning weapons that use high amounts of stamina don't get an unfair advantage. I also had all milk molar upgrades as the people looking for the best weapon likely already have all of their molars spent on upgrading their character. The only mutation I used was Natural Explorer, and the only armor I used was the Aphid Slippers. When killing an enemy, the timer begins on the frame of video where the first hit registers. The timer ends on the first frame that you can see the enemy's health bar is empty. I made a table using these times and scored the weapons with two methods. The first method is total time, that just means adding up the times for one weapon killing all 19 of the enemies and getting a total overall time. The second method I used was to score the weapons by giving them medals. This means that if a weapon is the fastest at killing a particular bug, it would get a gold medal. Second would get a silver, and third would get a bronze. In 12th place, with a time of 5 minutes and three seconds, making it last by over a full minute. No, I'm not joking. It is, of course, the Tiger Mosquito Rapier. This weapon obviously accrued zero medals yet again, and it means it is the worst salty, spicy, and fresh weapon in the game. This weapon was so bad, it was the slowest at killing 8 out of 19 of the total enemies. Need I say more? In 11th, with a total time of 3 minutes and 51 seconds, we have the Black Ox Hammer. This weapon accrued a single silver medal against the Roly Poly, but was overall poor. I always say not to use hammers as weapons, as they're simply too slow, and I stand by that with this weapon. In 10th place, with a time of 3 minutes and 23 seconds, we have the Tick Makawakawiwa. Yet again, this weapon finishes very close to the bottom of this list. It did manage to obtain two silver medals against the Infected Lava and the Infected Wolf Spider, but I still don't recommend using it. It does, however, have a lifesteal effect, which everyone loves to point out to me in the comments. Coming in at 9th, with a time of 3 minutes and 15 seconds, we have the Widow Dagger. This weapon got a bronze and a silver medal, but the silver was against the Infected Weevil, where the only relevant factor was the weapon speed, due to just how weak the Weevil is. This weapon couldn't even clean the boots of first place, making it to the 8th position just barely 
Ellie. With a time of 3 minutes and 13 seconds, we have the Rusty Spear. This weapon did manage to get an impressive 4 bronze medals, including one against the Ladybird Lava, but lost a lot of time on basically every other enemy. It didn't even get a medal against the Green Shield Bug, who's supposed to be weak to stabbing. In 7th place, with a huge jump to 2 minutes 55 seconds, making it the first weapon under 3 minutes total time, we have the Antlion Great sword. This weapon was only able to accrue two bronze medals, but due to a large number of these enemies being weak or impartial to slashing damage, this weapon was able to climb the rankings quite high. However, I wouldn't recommend it, as there is another slashing weapon that is much better. Surprisingly, in 6th place, we have the Fire Ant Club, with a time of 2 minutes and 46 seconds. The reason I say surprisingly, is because this weapon actually got 0 medals. This is because the club does generic damage, so no enemies are weak or resistant to its damage type, meaning it is very consistent and average at killing all enemies. Falling from Grace into 5th place, we have the Termite Axe, with a time of 2 minutes and 26 seconds. This weapon was second in the previous video, but has fallen to fifth in this one. It was able to get three silver medals and two bronze medals, but just wasn't as good as the weapons above it. I can't recommend it in the fresh variation, as it is neither the best chopping nor the best one-handed weapon. Redeeming itself from the previous video in fourth place, we have the Scythe of Blossoms, with a time of 2 minutes and 24 seconds, just barely beating the Termite axe. This weapon is the best chopping weapon on the list, and is a very good choice if you're looking for a weapon that also doubles as an axe. It got one gold, two silvers, and five bronze medals, with the gold coming against the Bombardier Beetle thanks to that chopping damage weakness. This weapon is good, but far from the best. In third place, with a time of 2 minutes and 18 seconds, it's the Toenail Scimitar. This, yet again, makes it in as both the best one-handed weapon and the best slashing weapon on the list. It was able to get 5 golds, 6 silvers, and 4 bronzes, which is an unbelievable medal tally. Although quite a lot of these came against enemies with really low health, where speed was essential. Overall, I do recommend this weapon, particularly for people who'd like to use one-handed weapons. This is it. Two weapons remaining. Will the Club of the Mother Demon win for the third time in a row? Or will the Mint Mace come out on top in second place? With a time of 2 minutes and 1 second, making it 17 seconds faster than third alone. With 4 gold medals, 4 silver medals, and 2 bronze medals, we have the Club of the Mother Demon. That's right, the club has finally been beaten. This weapon, as always, is simply sublime. If we were using the Apex Predator mutation, I'm certain that it would beat the Mint Mace, but without it, the Mint Mace simply does more damage. I recommend using it if you have Apex Predator, but if not, you'd be better off using our number one spot. In first place, with a time of 1 minute and 49 seconds, making it the only weapon to absolutely smash the 2 minute mark, we have the Mint Mace. Wow. This weapon got a staggering 13 gold medals out of the 19 creatures that it killed. Out of the other six enemies, three of them required speed to get a medal, which this weapon lacks. But the fact that it was 12 seconds faster than second place alone is staggering. This weapon truly is the OG best weapon in Grounded and continues to still be one of the best weapons in the entire game. I of course recommend using it, even though I'm still sad that the Club of the Mother Demon was unable to complete the trifecta. But there's still one more element to go. The trifecta can still be completed if the club can get first place in the best sour weapons video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. As always, I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.